This lesson is all about math functions in ChatFuel and how you can use them creatively to enhance the experience of your bot. One of the key use cases of the math functions in ChatFuel is creating quizzes, where essentially you score a user's performance and then give them different messages based on their score, based on the outcome of that quiz. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic quiz specifically about animals. So let's start by creating a new group. This isn't necessary, it's just for organizational purposes, but let's call it quiz. And I'm gonna start here with the first question. So I'll call it question one. And let's ask the user using text and quick replies, which we should be familiar with at this point. We'll ask them, how many legs does a spider have? Okay, and we'll use some quick replies to suggest responses. We'll say either four, or eight. Remember, you can use up to 11 quick replies, but for the sake of time and efficiency, I'm just using two options here. So how many legs does a spider have? Either four or eight. Perfect. Now we have to tell the bot, okay, which answer is correct and which is incorrect. So to do that, I'm going to create two separate blocks here. I'll call it Q1 correct and Q1 wrong. To make this even easier, I'm going to code this with emojis so it's more visual and easier for me on the back end of things to understand and kind of build out. So to do that, I'm going to just add an emoji here, a check for correct, and a red X for wrong. I'll talk more about emojis later in this course though. Great, and then we'll connect each of these responses to the corresponding block. So for eight, that's the correct answer. We'll link that to Q1 correct. And for four, we'll link that to Q1 incorrect. Simple enough. Now on each of these blocks is where the math function comes into play. And we'll actually start before we go there by resetting the counter for the score on this first question block. So in other words, if somebody takes the quiz and then they go back to take it again, we're resetting their score each time. So to do that, we're going to add a user attribute up at the top. And let's call this score and we'll set it to zero. Perfect, so they start off with a zero score, they're going through, and then based on the right or wrong answer, we're gonna set some other numbers. So let's start with the correct answer. So if they get to this block, we're going to set an attribute, and we'll call it score again, because we're gonna add to that attribute of zero at the beginning, and we're gonna type in score, so that same attribute that they started with, in this case it will be zero, plus one. We can add one point, a hundred points, whatever value system you want to use. So we'll start with that and then on the incorrect block we'll do the same thing but we'll add zero or if you want you could even detract the score if they get a wrong answer. So I'll type in score again, score plus zero. Okay, great. So that's how this is working so far. And then let's create a question two as well and redirect to that second question at the end of this score block. Note also that users won't actually see that they're increasing their score. You could do that if you want, but in this case, we're just doing that in the background. So after each question, they just get the next question. So now let's send them to the question two block on each of these. Question two, perfect. So now let's ask one more question here, which is, what is the home country of the panda? And obviously here I'm using an obscure and creative example. Your bot will likely have more of a business purpose in mind. So here let's add two options, either China or Russia. And we're going to actually duplicate these blocks that we just created for the sake of time and efficiency. To do that, I'm gonna click on the correct answer and click these two pages icons to duplicate it. I'll call this Q2 correct. And I'll do the same here with the wrong answer. Okay, perfect. So we the attributes are already set as they need to be. We just need to change the redirect here. So for these second set of questions, instead of redirecting back to the question, which would create this infinite loop, we're gonna create a new block that will display the results for the user of how well they did in the quiz. And also we need to connect the correct and incorrect answers here. So uh, actually this is correct, or this should be Q2 correct 
for Panda. It comes from China. And this is Q2 incorrect. Great. So now it's going to add or do nothing to their score. And then we will send them to the results block that we just created for each of these questions when they get to the end of the quiz. Excellent. So then finally, on the results block, we can show them how many questions they got right or wrong, and then also display their score as a percentage. So to do that, I'm going to add an attribute here. First, we'll create the percentage. To do that, we'll call this score percent. You see I've already created it here. And we can get that total score, how many questions they got right, divide that by the total number of questions, so two questions in this case, and then multiply that by 100. Just as you would expect, the operations here are pretty straightforward, dividing, multiplying, adding, subtracting. So we have the score percentage now, and then we also know with the score attribute itself how many questions they actually got correct. So then we can add a text card here and say something like questions right or questions correctly answered, something to that effect, and then score percent. So for questions correct, we'll type in score. And then for score percent, we'll type in that score percent attribute and add a percent sign at the end of it. Excellent. So now let's run through this and show you how it's done. And then I'll add one other component to the end of this. So let's test the bot. I'll start on the first question. Click test. Perfect. How many legs? It has eight. And I'll answer the second one incorrectly. I'll say Russia. All right, so it says questions answered correctly, one, and score percent is 50%. Now, if you want to take this to an even higher level, what you can do is give the user a response at the end of the quiz based on how well or how poorly they did. So let's add a send block here, and we can add two of them, right? So I'll say high score or low score. So then what we can do here is once they, or even before they get this percentage potentially or after whatever you so choose, you could send them to a block based on how well they did. So we can say if the attribute score is less than two, so they either got no questions right or one question right, then we can send them to low score. They didn't do that well. And then if they scored higher than that, we don't need to technically use a send block here. We could just type the response. So anybody who doesn't meet this criteria just gets the response below. But we can do this here and say if score is greater than one, then that means they got everything right. They got at least two questions right, meaning everything. So we'll send this to high score then. And perfect. So now all we have to do is on the high score, we can say, awesome job. We can use their first name if we want to personalize it. And then for low score, we can say, sorry, better luck next time, for example. Right? So at the end of the day, what we're doing here is giving the user personalized messages based on their performance, based on their behavior in the bot. There's a number of ways that you can implement this. This is just one example using a creative animal quiz. So let's restart and then show you the results. I'll click test your bot. How many legs does a spider have? I'll say eight. And I'll answer the second question correctly too so I get that high score message which will really motivate me. So I'm going to select China here. And there we go, questions correct too, 100% awesome job, right? If I went through again and didn't do as well, it would give me that other message that's more relevant to me. So hopefully this makes sense to you and start implementing math operations in your bot. There's a lot that you can do. Lead scoring is another functionality and feature of this uh, tool set in ChatFuel. So I highly encourage you to explore it, play around with it, and see what's possible to expand the horizon of your conversational experience.